Number 18. Sometimes leaving a bicycle in the sun on a hot day will cause a blowout. Why? Okay, so this is a great introduction to our next formula that we're going to learn for this chapter, and that's the combined gas law, which is this one. So it's four different variables coming together in a nice, beautiful formula, um, and it, it's going to basically talk about what's going to be directly relation to each other, what's going to be inverse or indirect related, but we basically just have to pick out what's going on here. Now they're saying that, you know, we have a bicycle, right, and, here, and here's my lovely little bicycle. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> my bicycle has two, uh, yeah, a bicycle has two wheels. So basically they're saying, if you leave it out on a hot day, what's going to happen to the tires? Yeah, they're going to pop, right? Because what's happening? Well, the tire is getting basically inflated, 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 right? And it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's what happens when it, boop, it pops. And the whole thing, blue. Okay. So you can't go riding that day. So we just have to pick out the variables that match with the description. Now they're saying that it's a hot day. So this has definitely to do with temperature. So I'm going to focus in on my T's, right? So... I have my T for temperature, and now it's saying it's going to cause a blowout. Now, in essence, what happened to the bike? Pressure, volume, or N stands for the number of moles. Can you describe what happened to the tire in either the pressure or the volume? Yeah, we could say either two things here. The, the volume, right, the tire got bigger, so the volume was affected. So we could either say that this blowout was caused by a volume difference, or we could talk about it in terms of being, uh, having, you know, more or less pressure. doesn't really matter. You'll get the same exact answer. So the whole thing here is that basically we can't really talk about the number of moles. So in your combined gas law, if you don't want to talk about a variable, just get rid of it because that means that it just remains constant and nobody cares about it. So now we have this nice thing, right? Ooh, kind of bring the whole T over. Okay, so now we just have to say, well, what's going on with the temperature, right? Look at your variables. Let's discuss pressure and temperature. Now, pressure is on the top and the temps are on the bottom. Anytime that you see a variable on the top and another variable on the bottom, this is always um, directly related. So this is a direct relationship. Anytime that you see a variable times by a variable, such as P times by V, that is indirect. Indirectly related. And we'll get to what these mean in a little bit. But as far as the hot day, we definitely have to relate temperature to either pressure or volume. Both of them, since temperature is the only one in the denominator and pressure is on the top or temp and volume, they're both going to be directly related to each other. So let's just say for temperature, right? So what happened? On a hot day, the temperature... What, did it rise or did it go down? Yeah, on a hot day, the temperature rises. So keep with that idea. If the temperature rises, what does that mean in terms of pressure or volume? Think that they're here, right? They're directly related. So if the temperature goes up, that means that the pressure has to also increase. Direct relationships means that if one thing goes up, the other thing has to go up as well. Now, also, if we said if the temperature increased, right, if it went up, what's going to happen with the volume? Well, since it's still in this type of relationship with each other, right, the volume is on the top and the temperature is on the bottom, that's a direct relationship, so the volume is also going to increase. And now we have, you know, now we arrived at two of our answers. If the temperature increases... That means that either the pressure of the system is going to increase or the volume is going to increase. 
it's easier to think about the bicycle popping in terms of the volume. Basically, the tire, ooh, ooh, the tire got larger, right? More space inside of the tire. And then because of the more pressure, right? There was more pressure, it popped. And that's what's going on here. But this whole idea is basically coming back to the combined gas law. But just know the generalities. If you see a variable on the numerator and a variable on the denominator, it's direct related. That means if one goes up, the other one's got to go up. But if you're talking about two variables that are on the same part of the either numerator or the denominator, if one goes up, the other one has to come down. And that's what indirect relation means. Hopefully this makes sense, okay? So thank you so much for viewing the video. Uh, subscribe if you want to help us out. And let's get to learning. Let's get more learning down. Uh, and I will see you in later lessons. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.